Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every single one of you. It is Hunter's Point here with another video. This is breaking news off of endtimeheadlines.org. I'm going to read this right now. Protesters have stormed the Capitol building. Emergency lockdown has been issued. Hundreds of supporters of President Trump have breached the perimeter of the U.S. Capitol just a few moments ago, attempting to force their way into the building as Congress prepared to certify President-elect Joe Biden's election win. Election win. I fully believe it was stolen, but again, that's just my opinion. Washington Post reporter Rebecca Tan tweeted an 11-second video clip of, you know, things, objects that were streaming towards the building with some stomping over a flimsy fence marked with an area closed sign. Hundreds of Trump supporters have stormed the barricades at the back of the Capitol and are marching towards the building. They've actually breached the perimeter of the building. That is the update to the original article, which I'm actually going to read the original article right now, and this was from earlier this morning. Uh, thousands of protesters have arrived in D.C. contending the election outcome. Thousands of demonstrators have arrived in Washington to protest what they call a stolen election, which included a Jericho-esque march circling the Capitol building seven times. According to CBN News, the protesters were praying for the elections free of fraud and asking for a thorough investigation of the latest presidential process. This gathering will coincide with Wednesday's joint session of the U.S. House and Senate, hoping to send a message against Congress rubber stamping the November 3rd election results. According to one of the protesters, Alice Butler Short of Virginia Women for Trump, says that she's sure the election was stolen and worries the, you know, what they will do to the United States as a result. Uh, she told CBN News, quote, What's going on right now? It's something that we never dreamed would happen in this beautiful and wonderful country, unquote. This also comes as a number of senators and representatives are planning to object to counting some of the electors from disputed swing states. That's going on right now today. Elections analyst Hans von Spakovsky, I'm sure I butchered that last name of the Heritage Foundation, told CBN News, quote, this is what happens uh, when they temporarily break up the joint session. This is what's going to happen. They're going to be challenging a lot of the electors from disputed swing states. They go back to the House, they go back to the Senate, and then they debate whether or not that objection should be sustained or overruled. Uh, Spakovsky believes there's little chance a majority will uh, back the objectors. Quote, so that's really the last opportunity that anyone has to question the results of the election. That's what's going on right now today. You have about 12 to 13 senators challenging the election results. And then you have a huge, huge rally type event going on in Washington, D.C. There's hundreds of thousands. I mean, I even read reports saying there's close to a million people in D.C. That's what I was reading on some of the other websites. There's hundreds of thousands of protesters in Washington, D.C. And when I say protesters, I'm not meaning that in a negative way. The mainstream media likes to use that word protester and turn it into something that has a negative connotation to it. No, all right? These are people who are protesting what was a stolen election. I fully believe it was stolen. And we have our right to freedom of speech and freedom of movement and freedom of assembly. And that is what's going on right now in Washington, D.C. All right, so I wanted to bring that to your attention. Once again, the breaking news part of this is that hundreds of Trump supporters have breached the perimeter of the United States Capitol moments ago and were attempting to force their way into the building as Congress is preparing to certify President-elect Joe Biden's election win. Uh, there were barricades that were stomped down and stormed past and they are marching towards and around the Capitol building. All right, so that's the piece of breaking news I wanted to bring. Uh, I will give you all the gospel real quick and then head on out. I wanted to keep this relatively simple and straightforward. And the gospel is found in the book of 1 Corinthians 15, verse 1 to 4. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received and wherein ye stand by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. I'm not really feeling led to break things down any further. I'm just going to say this. If you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation and eternal security, please do so. 
right? Christ died on the cross, shedding his precious blood for the remission of all your past, present, and future sins. He was buried in the tomb three days, proving he was dead, and he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures, for your justification. You're saved, you're justified by faith alone in the finished redemptive work of Jesus Christ alone. It's not of your own accord or merit that you're saved. It's by believing entirely in what Christ did alone that actually saves you. Uh, this is referenced in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, which reads, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. It really, really is that simple. So I just wanted to come on here real quick, give you all the breaking news situation. That's what's going on right now in D.C. It's worth keeping your eyes on, and if anything groundbreaking happens... I will be back on, all right? So I'll see you guys next time, should the Lord tarry. Otherwise, God bless.